Hey guys, welcome to the Mobile Central. This year, once again, I've got my hands on on an unreleased Samsung product. If you remember, last year I brought you the Galaxy Watch 3 before it was even announced. This year, I've got my hands on on the Galaxy Buds 2. So let's unbox this and understand what the hype is all about. Okay, so these Buds 2 are the successor to the Galaxy Buds and Buds Plus but they bring in the active noise cancellation from the Galaxy Buds Live and Buds Pro line. So they sit somewhere in between the Galaxy Buds Plus that I have here and somewhere between the Galaxy Buds Pro and Buds Live. And I have the olive color here with me. There are a couple of other colors as well, which I couldn't get my hands on. But as of now, I've got the olive color, which I will unbox for you all. Okay, before we get into the unboxing, let's quickly look around the box. We've got Galaxy Buds 2 packaging marking here. And there's nothing much on the other sides of it, except there are a couple of features down here. So it says clear and rich sound with two-way speakers and active noise cancelling like i mentioned comfortable fit and up to 5 to 20 hours of battery or the play time so that's interesting to see and it also mentions that it cuts external background noise by up to 98 percent anyway having said that without further ado let's dig deep and understand what's inside the box okay just give me a second that's taken care of I'm just gonna cut this off okay so we have unboxed it let's open it and see what do we have inside the box okay so the lid's coming off there is some packaging up here I'm sure there will be some usual manuals and stuff that we generally see in the packaging yes it has the warranty card and the quick start guide that you get okay let's keep these here and what do we have so here is the buds we'll look into it in a minute and what do we have okay of course this would be the charging cable let's have a look at it okay so you get so you get a usb to type c charging cable in this okay let's leave this here for a minute what do we have here is Okay, these are the extra tips that you can adjust according to your requirements. So these are the extra tips in there. Okay, anyway, so this is what you get in the box. The main attraction of today is the Buds Pro or sorry, the Buds 2. <laughs> Why I said Buds Pro? Because the design is very much inspired from Buds Pro. Anyway, let's remove these. And if you see the case itself is very similar to Buds Pro and Buds Live. I love the small case, the, this entire design output is going really well and it's very much inspired from uh, Google's Pixel Buds where the case is white whereas but when you fold, unfold this inside you see them in the colors. So if you've got the olive color everything inside is nice in this olive color and the design is very similar again to the Buds Pro. So yes, I think they're very well inspired from Buds Pro from Samsung uh, uh, noise cancelling line. And again, these, I, like I said, they bring in the noise cancellation as well. And they're tuned by AKG. Okay, so this is what the unboxing experience of these Buds uh, Bud 2 is. Colors inside, the case white outside, Type-C charging port up here and all of this. So, okay, so now let's start to compare this with the other things that I have at my hand. My favorite buds so far, the earphones, in fact, are the Jabras, okay? So these Jabras are the ones that I've been using for a very long time now. I really love them, how they fit in my ear, the sound and the mic and everything is pretty brilliant on them. And this is how the case is. So the design, you can see the slight difference between the Jabra and Samsung's. I think the I'm gonna like how it feels in the hand, this one. And this one's also not too bad, but yes, I'm gonna prefer the case design on the Samsung's new buds. And if you compare this with the buds plus, you see how these are different in terms of their overall design. So yes, this is how it is in terms of overall design. Now let's start to look into the features. What features do you get with this? Okay, just give and we just set up for this thing with my phone and connect this with the phone and see exactly how this all goes. Okay, so I have buds now next to my S21 Ultra that I've been using for a while now. So let's see how the connection process is. I open this lid up. It should pop up on here. I think it did. Just give me a second again. Let me try that again. Okay, it should pop up on the phone. Yes, it does. I click on connect. What happens now is let's see. Okay, it's connected. It says case is 32% battery and the earbuds at 87. 
So you see, it's already connected to my phone and this is brilliant. So I did not need to download any other app because it's Samsung. But I think if you have any other uh, phones, then probably you wouldn't download the uh, the app that comes. Anyway, it says talk to Buds Live. This is one tip uh, and it says Buds Live. So it's not yet updated, I guess, to notify or to understand whether it's, it's Buds 2 or Buds Live. So talk to Buds Live let's see what does it say unable to perform this action so i think it's because the these buds are not yet released not yet launched therefore the phones are not supporting them in full capacity yet so let me go manually try to connect them so i i was reading online the feature that that's good thing about them is i don't really need to pull them out to connect in a manual mode so i just need to tap here and it should go into the pairing mode yes so you see now this light is blinking without pulling them out of the box it's already blinking it's in the pair mode i just need to go into the bluetooth and try to find them so here i can see galaxy buds 2 already appearing here i just need to tap on it galaxy variable app opens up and it's just downloading certain software for now i can see galaxy buds 2 earlier at the automated launch or automated connections it was something else so i'm just gonna say agree allow allow yes of course i need to give all these permissions for buds 2 to connect yes okay it's connected it says you are all set so you can see it changed the color to the olive colors that i have so now the app is going to show the color of buds that you have and it is showing all the other things so it says touch controls that you have typical tap touch and hold so on tap you play and pause typical samsung things so double tap can actually take you to the next track triple tap will take you to the previous tracks i'm going to just turn all of this on okay so and there are other settings that you can see which are basically i think typically samsung stuff that you get okay so that's pretty much in terms of unboxing and connections i'm going to just wear them on and see how the sound output and everything else is on this and before i do that just one small thing to notice so noise controls are here it says active noise cancelling here and this is ambient noise and this is off in by default but when i put them on this option becomes active i can turn it on after i put them in my ears so now they're inside my ears and it's automatically going to the active noise cancelling and i can do it off and i can do the ambient sound and i can adjust the ambient sound how i want it so it's i think we've been you know familiar with all of this how it's happening for the other samsung earbuds that we've been using so far so this is how it is it's and let me just now turn on some music and give you some feedback on the sound how it feels so let me just turn this on Mm, yes i think it's it's pretty interesting let me just go to another track this is slightly bass heavy track and yes bass is really good on these buds i'm enjoying what i'm listening to right now oh wow yes it's kind of good it's it's very nice what i'm hearing at the moment let me just go to the noise cancelling settings and see so it's on ambient no noise right, ambient sound right now let me just turn it off and Let's me go to the active noise cancelling now. Yeah, but but I'm indoors right now, so I really cannot make a lot of difference, uh, you know, understand. But yes, uh, in terms of uh, fit and finish, I think they feel really good in the air. They're very lightweight and I use my Jabra's a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to draw comparisons based on Jabra. So with compared to these compared to these uh, Jabra buds that I have that, that uh, you know, which I usually uh, wear for workouts and other stuff. The, I, the Galaxy Buds 2 are feeling much lighter and much smaller in my ear and I think I like uh, how it felt in my ear for, for a minute there. So to conclude, this thing is actually very nice to feel in the hand. It's very premium, sits very nice in your ears, it's very light and sound output is actually very good. But this is all in the isolation. You need to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch a lot more of comparison videos that I'm going to make for this thing with a lot of other offerings. And hit a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.